In this video, I'm going to take you through step by step on how to build this beautiful safety pin and bead Christmas tree to add to your holiday decorations. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is going to be the amended supply list uh, that I used to make the actual tree that I made. There's other versions, there's a lot of versions out there actually, but this is what I used to make this tree that we're going to do in the video, and I explain some of the other things that you could possibly use, like all round beads with no star beads and different things. You're going to need some pins. Now, I don't know that they count. For this one, we actually only needed 80 pins. The original sheet that I had said 100 pins, but I ended up only needing 80. These are called number 3 pins, but also they're 2 inches long. You, you have better results looking for 2 inches long. Now, I did put links to everything that you're going to see here is in the description. Sans this star. That's the only thing that I didn't put in there, but you'll find links to the Amazon stuff for everything. And be aware that you know, even though some of them are only a hundred, you may need more than you might have to order like two two orders of some of these beads and different things. So you're going to be putting them on these pins, these different beads, and these are the starburst or sunburst beads. I got the clear because I really like the clear, but you could get green, you could get any color you want to build these. These are like the branches more or less of the tree. This is what it'll look like on the safety pin. And then you build it all together. You could alternate. You could have some red ones here and there to make it look like Christmas lights, but we're going to put lights in between. But this is what I used all clear. Some you can get with sparkle. Those are pretty cool too. I think those are the ones I linked to. But again, starburst or sunburst. And for this tree, you're going to need 320. They're 18 millimeter sunburst crystal beads, okay? Next, you're going to need these 8 millimeter beads. These are I, these have some sparkle to them, but you could just get clear. Or again, you could use different colors or some clear and green. You know, put little dots of colors in whatever you want. But for this tree that we made, I used 415 of the 8 millimeter beads. I think I just got a 500 pack. You know, I believe that's how they came in a 500 pack. So I have extra, and I'll use them for other projects. Now this one. The way that the original uh, put together of the beads, the original way that we strung the beads here, and I, I have a diagram, it did not include this six millimeter bead on top, but it was loose, it was moving around, and, and you could see a lot of the pin. So I decided that I wanted it to be nice and tight with no wiggle room, you know, like a solid thing. And so therefore I needed to put one of the six millimeter beads on top of each pin. So therefore you're going to need 80 of these all as well. And I believe again these might come in 50 or 100, so you might have to end up with 100, but I mean, you know, you'll probably use them for other projects. The other thing is now you can get a topper I, I put a link to, they have the ceramic toppers, and I just didn't have any around, and I was trying to get this video out. So I saw these at the craft store, and what I ended up using, these are sparkly, um, it's a sparkly snowflake, uh, you know, not, you know, just regular metal on one side, and then it has some shimmer and sparkle on the other side. I ended up using that. I may end up picking up, you know, one of the uh, stars for the mini ceramic Christmas trees, because I think those actually might look better. But since I didn't have time to order it and it's a holiday rush, I decided I, I would just grab this. And it looks okay. But I can take it out later and put in another thing. And then some kind of an inner light, you, it's optional. But I, I put in some little LED lights that I had. I got it from somewhere. They're battery operated. They don't really fill it up that great, these little ones here. So I put a link to a small strand of... Christmas lights uh, in the description. And again, we left the bottom like a wide bottom, so if the lights burn out or you want to change them or you want to put multicolored in, that's an easy way to get those lights in and out of there. So without further ado, let's move on to how to build our pin tree, safety pin tree for your holiday season. And there's a specific pattern that this tutorial talks about, and that's how I started doing it. But you know, I was looking around, and you can use any any clear beads as long as you basically some of them just use all round beads some of them used all those kind of beads if you use these kind of beads though I've noticed that you really can't uh, close it you need when you get to the top part of it you need a smaller like the eight millimeters so um, but again as I was looking around at examples of finished trees some of them are just all the beads so this is what I've done I've done a bunch of them already in this context uh, one round bead on the bottom three of the starburst beads. So here's one round bead, three starburst beads, one more round bead, eight millimeter, and then finish up with a starburst bead. But here's what I found is that there's a, there's a pretty big gap. I'm like, man, there is enough for another uh, bead at least in here. Maybe it's easier to see it like that, you know. If you don't, because if you put it this way, you're going to see 
the top of this thing and I, and I don't really want to see the top of that thing. So what I've done now is I went, ago, I went ahead, I measured it out and what, what will fit, another 8 millimeter bead won't fit, but I got, oops, <laughs> it just went in my pin box. Uh, what I went and did is I got some, I'm going to turn on a brighter light so we can see better. These are 6 millimeter. So if you want if you want it loose like this and you think it's okay with the pin part of the pin showing through, it's not really showing up that well here, but a, a good portion of the pin is showing in the top, and I don't I don't want it that way. So what I'm going to do is add on another bead, another six millimeter bead on the top. Okay, so I opened it back up, and I'm going to add this six millimeter bead on the top, and that's going to fill it in to where it's pretty full. And then I'm just going to close the pin again. And now I've got a, there's no wiggle room, it's not moving, it's one solid piece. And I feel like I would like it this way better. Um, it's going to hang upside down when we start hanging them and stringing them. So, but I noticed that these, what, the way they do this, by putting that other bead in there and everything, that ends up uh, giving it some more texture. I noticed that the ones, like, there were some that just did all these kind of beads all the way up and down, which you could do. You know, you could fill this whole thing, take a pin, and fill the whole thing up with just all these beads all the way up. But I noticed they look a little flat and not as, not as visually interesting. So I do like the idea of having this texture. Another thing that would work, but um, what was it? I, I didn't have enough time to get more of these beads. Another thing that would work in this equation is you could do one of these beads and then uh, five, five of these, one, two, three, four, five, and then take another one of these, uh, the eight, eight millimeters. So you have an eight millimeter on the top, an eight millimeter on the bottom. If I could get the dang pin in there. <laughs> and... There we go. And that'll, that, that'll fit perfectly, too. But I didn't have enough time to get more of the other beads. And I, this other stuff, I already had all my supplies, and I didn't want to wait. It's, it's a tough, but that'll fit. So then you would end up with all of them being this shape. An 8 millimeter, 5 of the uh, crystal beads, and then um, one more 8 millimeter, and it would be like that. But, um, again, I didn't have time to get the other kind of beads, so I just said, well... Uh, it'll fit if I do it this way. And I kind of like that there's a little bit of more shape to it because then this will just be all round. Almost like how the ones that were all of the single beads were all one, one, you know, not one color, but one, you know, it's kind of a little bit more of a boring kind of a shape. So that, this is what I've done. So I've used this thing. And we're going to put, I'll put the other one on top. So this is a six millimeter, six millimeter clear. And then it, it'll close. But that's optional. If you want it loose and you want, a, you want it, uh, a little bit of the metal showing through, if you like that look, then you could just only do these. It would be one round 8 millimeter, one, two, three starbursts, another round millimeter, 8 millimeter, and then finish it off with a starburst. But there's room, and I'm going to go back and do all of these in the 6 millimeter clear. So what you want to do is you got to make the whole thing before you start. So here's me. I've already done these. You know, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to uh, put that 6 millimeter bead on and finish up. I don't even have my full 100 yet. Then once you get all the things done, all the, I guess you could call them the branches or, you know, the, the safety pins, actually. Then we're going to go through and start assembling the tree and stringing it up. Okay, so here's the, the pattern again if you want to, like, get a screenshot or just freeze the video here. And it's just, again, a real... Okay, everybody, so we're back. I've got my 100 pins done here and you know I've got two sets of instructions and because I'm visually oriented that's why I'm making this video even just for myself and like once I can figure out how it's made I've got pictures over here from Pinterest and stuff of, of the different beads but all all the directions all say that you do five in the first row so of course you're going to want to put there's the side that has no beads right you want to put the side that does have beads facing outward and we're going to go through the loop you know, the loop on the pin right here. So we're going to go one, and then we're going to do one bead. We're going to do five in the first row, and then seal it up. So there's one and a bead, two and a bead. Yeah, I mean, it's these instructions are not clear. 
I'm almost feeling like this is three. I'm almost feeling like I'd be better off just looking at the pictures instead of trying to read these instructions, because <laughs> it's like stereo instructions, you know, it just doesn't... And even one has a diagram, but it just doesn't... it's not helpful. We got one, two, three in a bead. This is number four. And again, when you're putting them on, make sure they're all going the same way so that the beaded part is facing outward or going, well, all in the same direction. It doesn't inward or outward it'll matter how you, well, it'll be later. And then I'm going to put another bead. So then we put our fifth, uh, our fifth pin and one more bead. Now we're going to put these into a circle. I think I, I can cut it now. I guess I'm going to cut it now. So it'll be easier to work with. So I'm gonna, you know, you could cut the wire ahead of time. See, one of the instructions even has measurements. Cut 12 inches. But I felt like, you know, I want to make sure that I have enough. And okay. so I've got my five beads, a little lumpy there. I've got my five uh, pins and one, two, three, four, five beads. And now we're gonna get them into a nice round circle. And they all do say, you know, make sure you can get it as tight as you can. I'm wondering if I should use um, some sort of uh, like something round to thread it around to make sure, because it, it's a little bit lumpy here. Okay, so I, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna twist it around somehow, and get a nice tight twist, and then maybe I can sort of form it to be more circular because it needs to be circular. There we go. Yeah, definitely better. So it's going to look like this. This is the top of the tree. And then they say to like wrap it around and um, put it... I mean, this is the part I'm not really getting either. Like where there's nowhere to put it. <laughs> well, they just say tuck it around on the inside. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I had to break out my magnifying glass and stuff because it was getting all tangled and messed up. I need to see... It's hard to see such tiny things when you get older. <laughs> okay. So, let's get this down here more. Looks like I got a little bit of a kink there. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I've got my five... Uh, five strong with the five beads and I'm going to go around and we're going to try to get this tightened up again really tight. I think you know once we get it the other rows built they'll all hold each other together you know what I mean I don't feel like it's going to start falling apart or anything uh, but just getting it tight on this first row seems I'm having a little bit of a struggle here yes yeah, so I'm going to give it a good twist And we're going to make sure that it's, um, make sure that it's nice and tight. There we go. It kind of slid in to be nice and tight now. This is harder than I thought it was. You know, I was looking at, they're not that expensive to buy the old ones on. <laughs> Online, I mean, I probably spent more in supplies than it would cost to buy one. But, you know, I'm crafty and I like to make stuff. So I thought, well, I'm going to make it. It looks so easy. This wire is, you know, it's a little bit, uh, it's giving me a little bit of a bear here. But I'm sure that'll get easier, too. Just like when I first started stringing the beads, you know, it was a little clumsy. But then once I got into it and really started doing it, you know, I was whipping right along. So I'm going to cut off the excess, and then I'm also going to take my, my pliers and I'm going to pinch it. Uh, I just cut off the wire. I need to look under here. <laughs> and I'm going to pinch these together um, so they're not sticking out or anything. All right, so flip it back over, and I think I did it. <laughs> All right, so I've got it. This is our first row. It's It was kind of difficult. And then maybe open it up. You can see it's kind of like a star, okay? But it's going to end up being like this. We're going to go through. And we're going to go. I'm just going to give myself enough wire and cut it. Because I think trying to maneuver this whole thing is a little bit too cumbersome also. 
So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna eyeball. I'm gonna need, you know, at least this much wire. I'm gonna cut myself off down here, maybe. All right. I think what you do, is you go through the, and this time what you're doing on the first row, you're going through the head of the pin. You're going through this part up here, okay? So we're gonna thread through the head of the pin. Then we're going to right away, without putting a round bead, because the first time I put round beads in it, it was just too wide open. Then we go back to this, this, uh, this part. Make sure these are facing the same way. Put one in, one, uh, basically a spacer bead, the, one of the round eight, uh, the, the uh, original ones. This, and then go through to the next one. I think that's going to be the way to do it, yeah. Then go through to the next one. So for each of these five, because the second row definitely has to have ten in it, okay? So in between each of these five, there's two. So it'll be two, four, six, eight, ten. Pin, a round bead, pin, then back through the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and go through. I guess I could do one more on camera, and then I'll, I'll go through. Uh, so make sure it's facing up the right way. Pin, round bead, Oops, as soon as I can find the right spot. Round bead and spacing the right way. And there. so just like this through the whole thing and I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, I'm back. I've got these uh, two pin, round bead pin in between each one. And I wanna make sure that this goes upward before we swing this around and close it. Did you guys get that? Yeah, this is definitely better than my first attempt. My first attempt, I, I put too many round beads in. Because, again, these directions are not clear at all. So that's why I'm figuring this, this out. Okay. So there we go. It should look something like this. It's starting to take the form of the tree. We're going to have to get this uh, closed up real tight. This is the hard part. <laughs> it's doing this getting these ends closed off. I think I need to, um, so we're going to twist it around and like stick it inside the tree, but I need to cut off some of this. It's, it's too long. I have way too, I had way too much, uh, not thread, but way too much wire on that. Okay, so I'm going to give it a twist. I, I'm doing it like you would twist a bread tie, basically. Let's give it a twist around, and then, so I twisted it around, and then I'm going to shove it down in, inside the structure here. want to make sure it looks good before I get too far along. It's going to be fine, I think. Okay. So let's, we got it twisted. Now let's get it, I'm going to flip it, I think. Yeah. If I flip it like this, yeah, then I can kind of get it down in at the inside. So if you could see. So I'm going to push it down in there and, and you know, kind of tight, try to tighten it up. I need to cut these a tiny bit shorter, it seems. That one a tiny bit shorter. And then you could take your needle nose pliers, or I don't have to bring out my uh, magnifying glass light here. It's, it's hard to see even with the magnifying glass light because it's so shiny and sparkly, but I can see them. And there we go. I'm going to crimp down on these real tight, like, just get them really tight and get it really in there. And there you go, the beads. Now, the next row, according to the thing, is supposed to be 15, um, end up with 15. So we've got 10 here, right? I'm going to put my finger here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. So 15, I'm not, I'm going to have to try to review these directions. Because it's going to keep increasing by five from here on out. We're going to do it'll be 15, 20, and then 25 on the bottom tier. But to get it to 15, it would obviously be two and one and two and one. So let's just go for it. Uh, I'm going to need another piece of wire. I should clean up all this extra wire, but yeah, there's some wire scrap. I'm using a little bit extra, but you know, it's it's no big deal. Better to I feel like better to use more than not have enough. You know. 
better to have a little extra and end up cutting it off than having it not have not enough. So I'm cutting a little extra here. Okay, so we're gonna go two one two one is what we're doing, right? And that should do it. Okay, so I'm, it's the same thing. We're going through from the previous row. We're gonna go through this head, right? On the on the ones that are already there, and then we're gonna grab the this on the bottom and a bead in between also. Okay, so let's start here. So we're gonna go, oops, we gotta grab the right part and we're gonna do uh, one and we're gonna put a, a, a bead in between one and then here's two and then we're gonna go through here Okay, so let's try it this way, and if it doesn't look right, I'll take it out. So what, here's what I'm going to do. Two big ones with a bead in the middle, and then on this I'm going to do two around one, one pin around one. I don't know if we really need these round ones in here. Uh, that's the thing. And then through the next hoop here, the next head on the previous row. All right. And then we do two again. Make sure your beads are facing the correct way. One with a bead in the middle. Where is that thing? There we go. And another one. And then we go through again. And we do this time we'll do a round bead. So I'm doing a I'm doing three in each one. So I'm doing pin, round pin. The second one, round, pin, round. Pin, round, pin, round. We'll see, these X, these round ones might have to come out on the second thing if it's too bulky, but we'll see what it looks like. So we're going round, pin, round. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing that and I'll be back when it's done and else we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I broke out the calculator, the adding machine, in 15. If I go two, one, one, two, one, one, it'll work out to be 20 in the next row. So, I mean, the way these directions are is just, again, just ridiculous. So, what it's going to be is the same way we did it before, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, all the way around till we get to 20. Okay? So, here we go. I'm going to cut a piece of wire again. I, last time it seems like I really cut too much, but I'm going to do that again. I don't care if I waste a little wire. Again, I feel like it's better to have more than enough than not enough. Okay, so let's start. I wonder if we should start the two where we have the two or how we want to stagger it. I'm just going to start it here. I'm going to try to put this the back like where I cut off every time sort of in the same so it could be like the back of the tree. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go same way as before. We're going to go one and then we got the round beads. We got one or pin, round pin. If I can get the dang round one in there, where the hell is the hole? <laughs> pin, pin, round, pin. So that's our two. Go through the next one. And then I'm going to do round, pin, round. Um, we're going to do that uh, two times. Yeah. Instead of every other, it's going to be only two times we do that. We, we're gonna so this is gradually increasing so now we got the uh, round pin round I'm having a little trouble finding that hole in this thing round pin round and so we go through the next one beat it through the next uh, head of the previous row Right. So again, it's pin, round, pin, round, pin, round, and then we're going to do round, pin, round again. Round, pin, and round. Okay, so we've got, we've got pin, round, pin, so two, 
one, one, and then we're going to do this pattern again. Two, one, one, two, one, one, and it'll all line up. I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay, so I've gone all the way around, and I do have 20. Um, it's getting a little lopsided, but it'll straighten out. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this uh, up. Do it just like I did the other two. And then I'm going to figure out the math before the next row, and I'll be back to show you that. So, But the last one did work. Okay, so I did some more math with my trusty adding machine, and uh, if we, we're going to go back to 2, 1, 2, 1 on this one to get to the next row to be a total of 30. So we're increasing by 5 each time. So this is going to be 2 and 1 like we did on the previous row. So let me cut my wire. And, you know, it's just going to be pretty much the same as we did on the previous row where it's every other one. Instead of putting two singles together, we put one one double, one single, one double, one single. But it's okay. So I'll just show you. <laughs> so let's see here. Oh, by the way, I noticed it was like drooping and I kind of tried to squeeze and bend it and one of the things came off. So don't do that. <laughs> the, one of the pins popped open. Luckily, I was able to get the beads back on and uh, get it back on here. So... We're going to start with, uh, let me find that whole kind of whole spot that I've been working out of because there's a little spot in the back where it's a little funky and that's going to be more or less the back of the tree. <laughs> so we scoot it around this way, it looks pretty good. So we wanted, we wanted to have these funky spots kind of all together in the same way. Okay, so through the head of the pin of your starting point, make sure they go on the same way and then we're going to go pin let me just grab a handful of these. Pin, round, pin, round, pin, through the next one, through the head of the next one, and then it's round, pin, round, round, pin, round. Okay, and then the next one is pin, round, pin, round, pin, round, two pins, one pin, two pins, one pin. And we're going to do that all the way around the final row. Okay, I'll be back after this row. Okay, so that worked out perfectly for the, this is the one, two, three, four, the fifth row. You could just go around uh, after you do this and just put a, a wire through the bottom of this whole thing and then it, just, it would stand up then and like you'd be done. Uh, and I'm, I'm considering doing that. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to... Uh, I want to make sure I get this nice and tight. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to uh, do the stand of the tree. Again, like I've said repeatedly, this, these directions are not uh, easy to understand at all. Uh, but that's why we're doing the video. So anyways, this is what it's looking like from the inside. And then ooh, I'm trying to flip them out and they're flipping back in. So this is what it's kind of looking like on the inside here. Uh-oh, something fell off. No. Did one of the pins open? Oh, I think one of the pins open. Oh, darn it. Well, I'm going to have to find that. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Uh, I don't know what happened. Something sounded like something fell. Oh, it's this pin right here. Okay, see, if that happens, you can still salvage it. So what happened? We need a... We need one of these. That's why you kind of have to be help, uh, careful with um, oh, it needs a little one. You have to kind of be careful with manhandling it, you know, bending it around too much because the pins, I mean, I suppose we could put like a piece of glue or something in there, but I'm not going to go through all that right now. Uh, let's see if this is going to close with that. It is. Okay. I managed to do it correctly. Yeah, but like I was saying carefully, uh, once you get, then you can put the lights inside of there too. And I have some little LED lights, but I, and the old fashioned ones, they use like just a short string of Christmas lights. But I happen to have these LEDs, so I'm going to see how those look. So I'm going to tie this off, and if I can figure out how to do the inward thing, we'll do it. If not, we'll just put a, a piece of wire around the bottom and call it a day. <laughs> I'll be back shortly. Okay. 
Okay, so I've decided I'm not going to try to make it like curve in and you know do that the bottom thing. I, I mean, it's pretty clear how you would do that. Um, you would take some just regular pins with no beads on them and go all the way around like and point those in like this, right? And then you would do another row with beads uh, going for this, the bottom stem. But I'm thinking too, another reason that I don't want to do that and I'm just going to finish it off like this is to when you go to put the um, put the lights in, it's going to be a lot easier because those lights, no matter what kind you get, if you get the LED or you get the short strand, which I put a link to, it's gonna, they're not going to last forever. You know Christmas lights burn out. So it's going to be easier for to get them in and out and replace them or different things with this op this bottom being open and I just kind of I was looking at them and I just kind of like the look of that too a little bit more plus it's going to be a lot easier <laughs> so you know what I'm going to do I'm going to turn it upside down inside of my um, inside of my thing here and work like this yeah I think this is going to be an easier way then for sure I can see the bottom and see that everything is flipped out the way it should be and I'm just going to start, uh, where do I, I'm going to start here where this other wire is. Again, trying to keep all the wires sort of in the same spot. So if it looks a little funky there, then that can just be the end of the, uh, the end of the, uh, the back of a tree, rather. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. I mean, these are gorgeous. I really love these trees. It's, it's quite a bit of work, and uh, I was surprised at how much work it was. I thought it was going to be a lot quicker and easier than it it ended up really being, but I think it's kind of worth it in the end. So here we are. I'm going through. Got a little bit of wire hanging on my way there. Yeah, let's keep threading this through and getting every every pin along the way. Again, be sure to get every pin because when you get down to these other last rows, it can get a little bit difficult to um, sometimes to. You know, it's kind of hard to see, and there's a, they're sort of getting a little tangled up and stuff. So, and right, I'm going to go through and do all of them, and I'll be back to show you the end. Okay, okay, everybody, I'm down to the end. I, I'm glad that I did it this way. Yeah, I decided to forego the, um, forego that, um, making that extra base and everything. Um, it's a little bit wonky. I got to be careful. Don't again, don't mess it around too much. Like try to bend it or put it away because then what can happen is the pins can come undone. It's relatively easy to redo them if they come undone but you know. Okay so I'm standing it up. It is a little wonky this way. There. You may have to do a little bit of shaping. It looks good from a certain angle. You know you got to find that angle where it looks the best. <laughs> It looks pretty good though. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was, it was, you know, it was kind of tedious and a lot of work. Uh, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to just finish this off and stick this up in the, up in there. Trim off a little bit more of this. And put it up in the top here. There we go. It looks. I have to show it to you from this side, of, like holding it. But yeah, it turned out really good, I think. Now there's that the, the issue of the top thing, the uh, star, and the lights. So I'm going to be right back with that, with the rest of that. Okay, here it is, all lit up. I definitely like it better with the pins on the bottom just like that instead of the thing. What I have in there is a battery operated mini LED. It's really not doing the greatest job. I think I am going to invest in the other ones and then my little topper. It's a little bit crooked. A little bit wonky. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I, I'm going to do some fine tuning, but overall here it is. <laughs> the finished product. Uh, you know, it was kind of, it was a little aggravating, but I guess it depends on, you know, your whatever your skills or thereof the lack thereof but I'm glad I went through and, and got it done it, it does look really really pretty it reminds me of a chandelier so hope I helped you out with this video it was kind of touch and go and sort of figuring it out as I went again I would probably put more lights in it actually um, I think I will invest in the mini light strand but I like leaving the bottom wide like this so therefore you can 
change the lights. You could put green lights in there. You could put any multicolored lights in there. You know, you could do a lot of different things that way, and they're easy to get in and out. And I kind of like the way those pins look on the bottom there. It's almost like a little, little stand or something. But hopefully, you were able to follow along, and you can build your very own safety pin bead tree. Happy holidays, everybody.